Hi dear students, in this video we are going to learn about parallel combination of capacitors or to find effective capacitance when three capacitors are connected in parallel. Okay. Now we will consider three capacitors C1, C2 and C3. They are connected in parallel such that potential difference across the three capacitors is same. Okay. Now say the charge in capacitor C1 is Q1 charge in capacitor C2 is Q2, charge in capacitor C3 is Q3. Total charge in the capacitor, let it be Q. Therefore, therefore, what we can write is, therefore, Q is equal to total charge, Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Let me name this equation as some equation star. Now, we know that from the equation, from the equation q is equal to cv we can write we can write q1 is equal to c1v okay q2 is equal to c2v and q3 is equal to c3 into v now if okay this is very important step if cp is the effective capacitance of the combination if cp is the effective capacitance of the combination of the combination combination then what happens then i can write q is equal to total charge q is equal to cp into v now you see we know what is q1 okay we know what is q2 we know what is q3 and we know what is q now we'll substitute all these things in equation star so what happens now equation star implies star implies cpv is equal to c1v plus c2v plus c3v or v is common cp into v equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 into v this v and v gets cancelled therefore when the capacitors are connected in parallel effective capacitance is equal to sum of individual capacitances c1 plus c2 plus c3 if n capacitors are connected if n capacitors are connected in parallel if n capacitors are connected in parallel connected in parallel then what happens parallel then cp will be equal to c1 plus c2 and so on up to cn 